Hey guys, this is Wolf from the Tribe Garland channel, and today I want to go ahead and say happy 3th anniversary, Sega SG-1000 Mark II. This console was released a year after the SG-1000 Mark I. I don't have the console, and from what I've seen, this console can go up to, to the thousands, because it is that fucking rare. This console was released a year after its predecessor, which was released at the same time during the... Nintendo Famicom, and Nintendo Famicom dominated the fucking market, which left this poor little console out in the dust, not make, not being as successful as Nintendo Famicom. Now, I believe a couple years down the road, the SG-1000 Mark III, also known as the Sega Mass System, was released in Japan. What's so unique about this console is that you can utilize some of the SG-1000 Mark I and II, well, excuse me, Mark the SG-1000 games for the console, like so. Now, I believe you can't play this. I haven't. I, I, I haven't purchased tested on myself, but I will go ahead and show that on a future video. So, the console itself does uh, feature some of the peripherals that the S that the that its president can't um, utilize. The only the only uh, peripheral that the SG-1000 Mark I and II can utilize is the card catcher, right? Now, on my previous video, I've shown you that this game over here is pretty much the more enhanced version of this big-ass block cartridge, <laughs> right? <coughs> Along with that, you can utilize detachable controller ports, unlike its predecessor where it's hardwired to the console itself. Now, these two controller ports can use Atari, Sega Genesis controllers. It's like anything with like a D9, which is pretty much like so. D9 with like nine holes on them. Then, or D9. Yeah, that's what it's called. But yeah, that's what it pretty much is. And, I mean, so far, I mean, the controllers themselves are pretty are pretty small as compared to the SG-1000, right? And they, and, and they pretty much don't have any labels over here. Now, in the middle, there's supposed to be like some kind of joystick-like um, attachment to it, but it seems like it didn't come in the console. But I'm not too worried about it. So, in order to play the games, you have to change it to channel 95, 98. Now, for my TV, it's pretty much 98. The DC output is um, pretty much uses the same. Um, well, anyways, it uses the same DC output as like a regular Sega Genesis Model One would use, so that so that we won't damage it or utilize some kind of um, electrical rig converter. Now, here are some of the games that I have for the console. Remember, these are not not like all the only excuse me all the games that I have on my console. You have Pitfall 2 for the SG-1000. You have Ninja Princess. This was the first game made by the same guy who made Sonic the Hedgehog. Let this thing in for a moment. The sequel to the game was called Girl's Garden. I don't know why the hell he made that. Over here you have Championship, excuse me, you have uh, Champion Load Rudder. As you can see here, this is like the only game that I that, that's boxed. Well, the, the only SG-1000 game that I own that's boxed. And it's pretty much like a compilation of levels where I believe 60 of the people who made the game itself, I mean, excuse me, who uh, made their own custom levels, have won some contests and they put it all into one, it's one game. And it's really fucking hard. I have the original Load Runner as well. You also have Hustle Chummy, where you play as a character named Chummy, the mouse, and she has to eat cheese and go back to her home for safety. It's pretty much like the opposite of Pac-Man, where whenever she eats cheese, you know, she gets fatter and she moves slower. Another game over here is Orgus. This is a shoot 'em up and you play this robot who flies around the world and shoots all these bad guys. This is pretty cool. And then you have... Of course, <laughs> Congo Bongo for the SG-1000. 
Um, yeah, it's, it's not that good. But um, other than that, if you guys have anything you want to share about um, your experiences with the SG-1000, listen down in the comments below. And don't forget to like my, uh, like my videos and subscribe. Have a nice day, guys.